Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is John Rambo. Uh, tonight I'm coming at you from the reloading room. I want to talk to you about my 1,000 subscriber uh, contest bug out bag giveaway. And uh, I'll tell you about kind of how this come about. Um, I was watching a video from Corporal's Corner. I don't know the guy's name, but he did a video where he was like a $250 Walmart bug out bag challenge. I used some of the items on his uh, his video. I used that kind of as a model to build this bag by. Um, I add, I subtracted some of the things he had. And added some of the things I thought was more important. And uh, anyway, so I tried to design a bug out bag that's going to be pretty functional. But uh, anyway, we'll get into the rules. That's how it come about. I thought I want my thousand subscribers. Uh, this is going to run 30 days or until I get a thousand subscribers. So after 30 days, if I don't have a thousand subscribers, it's going to run longer. But uh, okay, I'll talk to you about the rules. So you got to make a VR, and uh, and you have to mention this contest. You have to uh, put the link to this video in your information box. Uh, down below I need once you make a video I want you to come back and comment either on this video or somewhere and let me know you made one so I can find it so I can find your video response uh, you have to be a subscriber to win um, uh, we'll talk about what, what I want you to talk about in the video the video needs to contain what you believe is the most likely short-term uh, SHTF event that could happen in your area. Now that you know, it could be a hurricane, tornado, volcano, even uh, you know, uh, possibly a active shooter incident or something. You know. Uh, all right. The second, what do you believe is the most likely long-term SHTF scenario that would affect everyone here in the U.S.? You know, that's a big one, but. Uh, so that's, you know, that's two of the things I want you to uh, give me your opinion on. And, uh, okay. All right. So, so, so what do you win? I'm gonna, we'll go through the bag and the contents here in just a second. Uh, all right, here we go. So here's the bag itself. It has a, it's a 20, I think a 29 liter bag. Has Molly attachments on the outside, and we'll go over th what's in the, on the inside. Now, uh, when you receive this bag, it, the, may, the products may be no longer in the packages. Uh, I left the packages and the tags and stuff on, so you know it's new. So, here's the first aid kit. Uh, I included a frog tog reusable poncho. Uh, we included a live straw, uh, a hundred feet of uh, paracord, uh, bleed stop, it's kind of like a the stuff we use in the army. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Cellox or something. Anyway, uh, the headlamp. A uh, headlamp's always useful, and you know. I first started using these like you have to skin a deer at night or something like that. These are really come in handy, super handy if you're just you know hands free uh, lighting. So, all right. I had uh, Ultimate Survival Technology Strike Force and also an extra magnesium bar, eating utensils. Um, Here's a water bottle included. So with the with the life straw, you know, you just dip your water, take your life straw, and stick it down in your bottle. Drink. Uh, let's see. I had a, a metal cup here somewhere. So I got a metal cup. Right here's the metal cup. Also. Uh, so if you need to boil water. Or, Bowl food, warm up food, 
Uh, this bag is pretty much designed for, you know, three days or whatever. Now these three items here together, kind of like your sleep and shelter system. So I got you a green hammock, green brown, kind of tactical colors. They only had one one color of uh, <clears throat> rain fly, so you, and that's gray. <laughs> Not the worst color you could have, but uh, so you got a hammock, a rain fly, and you got a sleeping bag. Now this sleeping bag is supposedly rated for cool weather. It says 20 to 40 degrees. I don't know. I think it's leaning more toward 40 degrees, but. Uh, so those are the that's that now the of course there's got to be a knife so i'm including a camelus uh carnivore x uh small machete uh, got a saw back and uh it's got it also comes with a little knife here that you'd probably use for skinning animals this is all you need for hunting really i mean a small blade all you need to skin an animal and go. <laughs> These people run around on five or six inch knives. I never went hunting before. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, now I, I didn't include a compass from Walmart. Mainly because none of the compasses at Walmart are worthy. <laughs> so that brings us to prize number two. And it's a Kaminga compass. Now I'm not a compass connoisseur. But. These are just the best compasses I have personally ever used. Uh, you know, the only ones I've used. The, uh, I know they're higher quality, one of the highest quality for the money you can get. This one, the the ones in the military, uh, is a tritium field. This one is not tritium field. It, it's something called phosphorescent. So I think it has to be charged by uh, light. So anyway. Uh, dog ox bark <laughs> so uh this is prize number two and so when i get all the subscribers or the 30 days are up we're going to do a drawing but uh make sure you get your entries in if there's any questions just let me know down below it's john rambo i'm out